Campbell Newman was sensationally booted out of office, but the former Premier could still make a political comeback. Tegan George explains. Campbell Newman vowed it was the end. My political career is over. But a year after being thrown out of office, <laughs> he's said to be considering a comeback, reportedly looking to replace Theresa Gambaro as the candidate for the federal seat of Brisbane. It actually doesn't surprise me. I was at an event on Saturday where he was a guest speaker and uh, he mentioned then that uh, he was... Uh, interested in potentially making a comeback. Mr Newman won't rule out speculation he may seek pre-selection. Senior party figures say it's highly unlikely. I think Campbell Newman contemplating a run for Brisbane will send a uh, shudder down the spine of every Queenslander. I've got the greatest of respect for Campbell. Uh, you know, uh, it's not an easy job uh, being Premier. Teresa Gambaro isn't commenting. Her last minute resignation has the party fuming. Mr Newman still has plenty to offer as he's showing in the, uh, in the business world and the private sector at the moment. I, mean, I can't believe he's going to pop his head up again. <laughs> um, but anyway, I guess that's good for the Labor candidate there. The LNP is scrambling to find a new candidate with a public profile. The National Retail Association's Trevor Evans is in the mix, but not answering his phone. Former Newman Minister Rob Cavallucci is also in the running. But Labor candidate Pat O'Neill, a serving army major, doesn't care who he's up against. It doesn't daunt me at all. Uh, we've been out there for the last nine months talking to the people in Brisbane, so it doesn't matter what face they put on it, it's still the same unfair policies. Lawrence Springborg has previously refused to buy into the speculation. Is Canberra far enough away for Campbell? <laughs> yeah. Tegan George, 10 Eyewitness News.